Good morning to all of you, class 10 students. Today our lesson is uh, from the story, the thief story. Now one thing let me tell you, yesterday was from first flight. Now today we are doing from the other book, Footprints Without Feet. Mind you, you read the lesson carefully and you have to make a short summary of the story. Now, before I begin, let me thank the school management for this e-content class where you can utilize your time fruitfully. So, the story begins, The Thief's Story by Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond is a famous English writer who writes stories for children. Now, let me tell you the story in brief. So, the name of the story is The Thief story. Mind you, there is an apostrophe S. Ready now? There was a wrestling match going on at a certain place in a village. The people were eagerly watching the match it was a nail-biting match and the hefty wrestlers were calling out Hardi Gardi! Hardi Gardi! A man was watching the match. His name was Anil. He was a very lean and thin man of 25 years of age. He was taking a keen interest in the match. Now, the main protagonist of the story, a young boy, he was watching this man Anil. He wanted to make friendship with this man. So he went and said, You also look like a wrestler. Anil said, You also look like one. Now, this boy was very much surprised for he was a boy of 16. They both started talking to each other. Let me tell you, this boy, he was a thief. He changed his name very often. So, Anil said, what is your name? The boy said, my name is Hari Singh. He kept on changing his name to be safe from the police and from the other people who may be suspicious about him. Now, then Anil, he asked him, can you cook? Can you cook for me? So Hari Singh said, Yes, I can. This was a lie. This was a lie. His first lie. He followed Anil to his house. Anil took him to his small room. 
crossing the sweet shop then over there he told him he had to sleep on the balcony and he made his first meal it was so bad that anil threw it out in the street and he told hari singh to be off next morning hari singh was very clever he had carefully studied the expression of his master's face then he understood that anil is a very serious type of man he was born with the milk of humanity so he kept quiet and did his work now he made money from his shopping whatever money he got he made some profit because he did not get any payment anil he used to write for the magazine and he made money by fits and starts fits and starts is an idiomatic expression which means often so he told hari singh that now i can pay you hari singh was very happy he was waiting for a golden opportunity to steal the money so he was very happy to show his to show his art because it was a long time since he did not practice stealing the story goes on like this it was a cold night in the month of november so anil was fast asleep he got payment he took the money underneath his pillow hari singh watched him very carefully anil went off to sleep and hari singh slowly crept and stole the money he counted the money it was total 600 rupees 50 rupees note he put the money in his waist he was dressed in pajamas and he left the house he ran in the streets to go away from here and he was thinking that if i will run fast i can get the 1030 lucknow express <coughs> when he reached the station the train was about to leave hari singh he was also running then suddenly he stopped he stopped the train left hari singh thought that i had i had been doing this for so many years but now i have realized that anil he was a gentleman he showed compassion compassion and also humanity he anil taught him how to read and write adding subtraction all these things so 
Hari Singh was the king's man. He listened to the voice of his conscience. He returned home that night and he saw Anil was sleeping. He quietly opened the door. He came inside. He kept the money in the previous place where it was underneath his pillow. The next morning he saw Anil got up before him. He made hot tea for him and he gave him a 50 rupees note. Anil gave him a 50 rupees note. Hari Singh took the note. It was still wet. He gave him some things to purchase from the market. What he said was, Hari, today I will teach you how to write sentences and also adding and subtraction and you can become a learned man now. So that was the turning point in Hari Singh's life. What, what is the most important thing we have to remember? It is a simple thing that we have to listen to our voice of conscience. And the conscience is the right person to guide us. So I was telling you that the conscience is the right person to guide us. Uh, I'll be ending the lesson just a few lines. Students, you know one thing. Ruskin Bond is a famous story writer especially for children. He writes magical stories. All his stories are heart touching. When you are reading, you will be surprised or I would rather say you would be mesmerized by the art of language. His remarkable sentences and short sentences with sharp meanings that will touch your heart and you will never forget the wonderful sentences he writes in his stories. So that's all. Thank you. All the best.